I just started polishing a two and a half inch marble. So we got some uh, big divots here that we're going to get out and a bunch of little ones. Um, but yeah, I just started it and got some divots here that we need to get out. But the 100 grit diamond is doing really good. So let me show you how that's going. So the important thing on a big marble like this is to make sure that it's getting equally ground on all of this, you know, the whole surface. And it looks like it really is. It's spinning it around in so many different directions. I got a good grip going on there, so it's pretty well lubricated. And we'll probably grind it like this, this first grind, this 100. Probably for about 30 minutes or so to get all the divots out, but it may not take that long. It's got a lot of good pressure on it right now. So, looking good. Okay, so I've stopped the first grind with the 100, and basically I've gotten all of the scratches and the deep pits out, and I'm ready to put on my 200 cups from 100. And that will take out all of the 100 scratches and any light pits that may be remaining. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and change the cups and then I'll get started again. So now I have the marble out. Let me just show you how it's turning out. Um, here's the ends. And you can see where how the marble was made, you know. As a, just a thin layer of those, that colored glass, but... There's no more pits. Um, there's one little little dimple right there, but I think that'll come out with the 200. Okay, I got the cups in there now. I'm gonna get a good spray. Get everything nice and moist. And turn the switch. So this is the 200. Those cups, they've never ground on a bit marble this big, so they need a little bit of Well, as you can see, the 200 grit has done a great job. It's a lot clearer and brighter now. Those cups finally broke into this big marble, and they're not squeaking. So it's just, it's just polishing it so nicely and training it so well, being every little side. I'm just going to let it run for a little bit longer to make sure we get all of the 100 grit scratches out. So here's what it's looking like with the 400 grit cups on. They're a little bit smaller than what I want, but they're actually moving the marble around really well. So, it would be ideally they, if they were just like a quarter inch or a half inch bigger, they'd be better. But uh, these are doing a, just a fine job, so... I'm going to let that run for probably 30 minutes. And that should get all of the, the remaining 100 and 200 grit scratches out. So you can see it's filling up a slurry on there. And that's good. That means that it, it's cutting the glass and getting those um, deeper, those other scratches out from the 200 and 100. Alright, so... I've got some 800 grit um, cups on there now, and we're just going to run it for about five minutes on, on each grit here on out until we get to the, I think the 8,000 grit. When we get to the 8,000 grit, we'll probably run it for about 20 minutes because that's not going to take anything off. It's just going to give it a super high polish. But at this point, we're just we're going from one grit to the next, so after the 800 is 1500 and then 3000 and then we jump up to 8000 grit for the final polish. So we're really not taking off any material now, we're just, not a lot, we're just taking off the scratches so that we can get it polished. But you can see that even with just the 800, after it's run for oh just a minute or two that it's already you can see inside of it really well and we have this marble nearly perfectly spherical 
um, the last two grits, the 200 and the 400, they did it did remove the material, and we finally got out some of the last deep cracks. So overall, we've taken off probably about uh, I would say not quite 0.2 or so a little less than a quarter of an inch um, off of the total diameter because when you have like a big crack that's say um, a 16th or, or um, and a little less than a like eighth inch of an inch deep, you got to take what's off on the other side. So um, we finally got all of the cracks and chips out with the last two grits, the 200 and the 400. And so it's nearly perfectly spherical and it's about 2.21 inches in diameter now so it won't get any smaller than that because we've taken everything out but uh, it's going to look really good when we get it finally finished and you can see the marbles moving around in all kinds of different directions so even with these smaller a little bit smaller cups it's still doing a great job of moving it around and polishing the whole surface all right it's been uh, a little more than five minutes about six minutes on the 800 grit and look at that look how you can see into the marble so much better now it's just starting to look really beautiful all right i'm going to take the the 800 grit cups off and put on uh 1500 grit okay here we go with the 1500 grit and when it's done with that it'll be a, you'll be able to see into that marble even better so that's what it looks like now so let's come back in about seven or eight minutes. Look at how much shinier it's getting. Uh, that was eight minutes on the 1500 grit. Now we're going to move to the 3000 grit and do that for probably about 10 minutes. Okay, here's the 3000 grit. I'm going to let that run for about 10 minutes. And then the last ones we're going to put in that gives a really high shine. It's 8,000. So all we're doing right now is we're just barely removing the scratches that came from the 1500 grit. So right now I'm running the 3000 grit on it. It's the second to the last grit. Also put some springs on it that aren't so strong and uh, that seems to be helping it run a little bit faster and um, just doing a little bit uh, I think a little bit better of a job the other springs I had on it were uh, pretty strong and great for the initial grind but not so much for the polish it really doesn't need a lot of pressure on it when it's polishing it okay this is what the marble looks like after the 3000 grit. We're going to put uh, 8000 on there and all these little, little scratches should go away. And it's going to look really, really, really great. It already looks awesome right now. But taking and putting that last final polish on it is clearly going to look good. And this last polish, I have to usually put it in there for about an hour. Because all it's doing is just just buffing that 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 surface. Up oh, the marble is finished, and it looks gorgeous. The surface is just super shiny, um, and it just looks amazing. My little three cup grinder did another great job. And you can see into the inside just so well. It's like a big two and a quarter inch cat's eye. So one of the things I wanted to talk to you about is some of the challenges of, of polishing a big marble like this. First of all, in order for it to really work well in a tree cup grinder, the, um, the sphere needs to be very spherical. 
and these handmade marbles were made in Germany, I'm assuming. Um, this one was made in Germany. This is where most of the big marbles like this came from. Is They're not perfectly spherical. They're really close, but this one started out... Um, the dimensions on it were... The long dimensions were about 2.4. And the short dimensions were right around like 2.31. So it was about a tenth of an inch off out of perfect being perfectly round. Now right now this this one the dimensions on I just measured it are they're about 2.165 to 2.2. So we had to take some of course quite a bit of material off of the marble in order to get it fairly round and to remove a lot of the big um the big cracks and chips in it. So but we got them all out. There's no more cracks or chips or even shown anymore. But it can be can be a challenge to to do this. Another thing that's a challenge is um, I didn't I didn't grind on it with my manual grinder at first, but later I had to because when you start grinding a marble like this, it's hard to um, grind it when it's not perfectly round, and so it wants to get, um, it's, it has that egg shape, and the egg shape wants to stay there. So I had to take it out after one grind, after the 400 grit, and remove some materials um, on the high ends to get it more spherical so that it would polish well and move well in the marble. But other than that, this marble sure turned out nice. I'm really pleased with it, and I'm sure that the the owner of this marble is going to be happy with it too. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this kind of content and, and make a comment below. Thanks and have a great day.